Hey guys, Mike from 24 Hour Solar Power here, and today we're talking about the Victron Color Control. We're going to give you a quick brief overview of why every single off grid solar system that has a Victron product in it should have a GX device. Stick around to the end, we'll show you a couple of other products and some links to the videos that can also do the same job this, maybe even better. If this is your first time to the channel, this is a channel where we talk about anything that can be powered by solar power 24 hours a day, batteries, EVs, and everything in between. Now, when we get stuck in the video, so the Victron Color Control GX, it's a must-have for every single solar system. It's the brains behind the whole device. So pretty much on the front, it's just a screen. You can see everything that's going on. We flip over to the back. This is where all the fun stuff happens. So what this allows the Victron to do is to take all your Victron connected devices and put them online. Now, this actually does have some limitations. For most home users or end users at the end of the day, it's to be way more than enough to get you out of trouble to monitor all your devices. And Victron do have some other products. As an example, this device can only take two VE Direct products. So you can, the MPPTs has been Victron's main product that's been communicated by the VE Direct. The VE Direct is a Victron specific cable that allows to take your solar charge controller and display online or through the color control. Now Victron have made some changes with their products to work more with these, where they've got MPPTs these days or solar charge controllers that can be controlled by VE CAN and VE bus, so you can actually communicate over a network rather than using the VE Direct. So you can check out the, the, those other products on the Victron website, which is the link is down below. So we highly recommend that to get the most out of your color controls, get it connected online. Now there's two ways you can do that. You can plug into an ethernet port in the back, or Victron actually does have a USB. We highly recommend with the Victron USBs, is to grab one of the ones from Victron. So a little USB in the back. Now, these are good for about 30 to 50 meters, I would say. Um, if your internet's within about 30, 50 meters, there's not too much in between, you can get away with one of these little dongles. If not, you can just buy a USB extension cable to extend the USB outside of the color control, the box it's in, and put in a better space to connect to your Wi-Fi. Highly recommend, if possible, to hardwire the unit and get it connected through ethernet, if, if that's possible. The other really good thing about these things here is they actually come with a relay built into the back one. Now what's really good about this relay is you can actually control it from the front of the device. We use it a lot when we design and install solar systems to start generators. The really good thing about that using the relay in the back to start your generator, if you're not at your property and your system's online, you can log in remotely and from your app you can start your generator. So let's jump over onto the computer and I'm going to show you now some of the cool features from the color control and the reason why you should always have it connected to the internet. So when you jump online, you're going to want to set yourself up a Victron Energy account. You want to come here and log in and log into the VRM. Now the VRM is going to take you through to the portal, which is going to bring up this page here. So when it brings up this page here, this is what you're going to see. And this is sort of a breakdown, a bigger overview of your system. If you have a look. So this system here, for example, it's a grid connected system. So if you're a user that's got the grid as your backup, this will say grid. If you're a user, then your backup says generator. If you're off-grid, it's likely going to say generator here. So a quick overview of this page here. With this screen here, you can't actually see and none of this information you actually get if you don't keep the system online and record it. So it's really important to get this sort of stuff. Some really great information here. Now we'll just go down here. We'll go seven days. I'll show you a quick breakdown of the last seven days of the information that you can see. In this system here. Some things I like to look at. So for this system here, for example, this customer, they use... 26 kilowatt hours a day they consume and their solar produce 90 kilowatt hours for the day. So another really good breakdown I like to have a look at is go here to consumption and have a look at what's used from the grid, batteries and solar. So this is really good, you can just hover over it. This example, this customer here, they're using 1.6 kilowatt hours a day from a grid. As I said, they've got a huge amount of panels. I think it's over 20 kilowatts of panels here, but they've only got about six kilowatt hours of battery storage. So they've gone with small batteries. Um, so intended to use more energy of a day than of a night. So you can flick through here, so you actually see what's getting used from batteries. So you use about four kilowatt hours of battery overnight, four, five, and you know, what they're using from solar is 20, 20 kilowatt hours. So this is great. You can go back to you know, all this history here. You can go back and see if, it, if it's not online, it won't record that data. Now let's jump in. Now if you're looking at your color control, you go to a remote console over here on the left. And this is going to bring up exactly what you see on your color control if you're standing in front of the color control. It's going to show you everything that you're seeing here. 
Now, if you're a grid connected user, it's going to say the grid here. If you're off grid, this here should say generator. And if it doesn't, it's the wrong way around. It's easy to go fix in your color control. This is what it says with your batteries. Your batteries are 99% how many watts go on the battery. So this, these batteries here are completely full at the moment. What they're using for critical loads and the PV inverter. So this PV inverter is a grid connected inverter. So in this system here, they've got a couple of grid connected inverters plus a PV charger. So this PV inverter actually communicates over Wi-Fi, uh, or you can hardwire these into talk, which we would have done in this situation here. And these PV chargers, they communicate by those very direct cables on the back of your Victron. So let's go and have a quick, quick overlook in here. What's we'll have a quick overlook in here of what you can do. So we'll come back here. Oh, we'll go back to the start. So when you log in, this is going to show you devices of all the devices connected. So in this situation here. You know, they've got a couple of multipluses, they've got two multipluses, smart solar, smart shunt, PV inverters, and a grid meter. So these are all your listed of Victron appliances that, that are connected, or the devices. We'll have a quick look in here, some cool features with this multiplus. Things I like to look at in here with the multiplus. Uh, here in Australia, one of the biggest problems is we have high grid voltages when we feed too much back to the grid. So this system here is on 245 volts as a grid voltage, which is pretty good. Uh, as you'll see, it's actually not feeding that much back to the grid at the moment. It'll ramp up in a minute and it'll feed a load back to the grid. And those grid voltages will rise. So that's a really good thing to have a look. If you're having problems with your PV and it's not just producing and the export, you're not exporting as much as what you think, this is a really good way to go in and check and see what your grid voltages are. If you've got a multimeter, you can just plug it into the wall. So you can actually see what's going on with the device, what your AC voltages are and all that sort of stuff. Any history of notifications, and go into the settings. So here in the settings, these are mainly the general settings in here is where you, you know if your generator's not showing the right thing, your input, you can change that. Firmware, with Victron, I highly recommend if your system's working, just leave it. One of the biggest problems we've ever had in life uh, with these systems is when firmware gets updated, it's been Victron's been really good for about 18 months now. They do a lot of testing, a lot of beta testing stuff for the update. But if your system's working, unless there's some really cool new feature that you do want. I'd recommend leave the firmware and not touch it. And if you do want to update it, be prepared. There could be some bugs and issues at time of update. So one of those things, maybe wait a little bit for everyone else has updated it uh, before you can do it. You can go into that. Now the remote console, this is what gives access and everything on the line. System setup. We'll come down here. Now ESS, if you are a grid connected user, you'll see ESS. If you're off-grid, you won't see the ESS. So the ESS is some smarts to go in, which if you want to see more about that, we'll video in the link description down below to see all the different things about ESS, what it can and can't do. Ethernet to make sure it's connected, Wi-Fi. Now, if you've got a color control, you won't see Bluetooth in there. So this is actually a servo device I've actually remotely logged into, not a color control. With the servos are designed more to use for motorhomes, caravans, and things like that, you can actually get GPS. Um, this is one of the features that if you are an off-grid customer, you do have the ability to start your generator. So you can actually just log in here. And you know, if you've got these customers are connected to the grid, so you can go and set up all your smarts for your generator in there. So um, that's the basic intro over the Victron color control. I highly recommend that every single device actually has you know, if you've got a Victron system, get one of these in so you can see the monitoring and see exactly what's going on. Um, without this data, it's really hard if you're going to issue or something to see what's really going on. Now, as I said at the start of the video, some other products that are better. I really like the new Servo products. Now, the Victron color controls are amazing. The Servos actually have more connections and things like that. So if you want to know more about the Servo and why they're a better unit, you can click in the video below. But if you're just a home user, you get a basic solar system with a couple of different devices in it. You can't go wrong with a color control. Thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate the like and subscribe and any comments or questions, please post below and for more information, you can check out our playlist on more Victron products. Thanks and have a great day.